Today I'm here at the uh, Will Edward incline shaft dump. Incline shaft just over there in that direction. Um, this is uh, basically the place where uh, most of the uranium ore is found these days, most of the pitch blend. Not a whole hell of a lot of it is actually radioactive, some of it is. Um, these are mainly just these things here with fairly colourful secondaries, that orangey stuff, for example. Um, but yeah, the stuff you can find here, which is really quite reactive, like this sort of stuff. You can see the uh, sort of uh, the orangey colours on the pitch blend on the either side of this. There's a bit of a non-crystalline canelite there as well. Um, as well as small pyrite crystals. Um, in there, down right in there, the camera probably won't pick this up. In fact, it almost definitely won't, but uh, there's some cuprous skladowskite, which is a uranium copper mineral. And um, this piece in particular is extremely active. I had a bit of it tested, a small bit bit of this bit, but um, good. I think it was uh, just around... Probably a bit over 40,000 counts per minute. Uh, that was measuring all types of ionising radiation, alpha, beta, gamma. But yeah, it's quite a nice piece. And then, well, I found that piece myself. Down right in this little bit, but um, a couple of weeks back. Then there's this stuff here. I didn't actually find this piece, but it's from Will Edward. I don't know what part of the dump it's from, it might be from the lower dump, I don't really know. But there's a, a sort of greenish stuff there, and also greenish stuff there, which is a torbanite, which is again a copper uranium mineral. It's quite a nice piece actually, small crystals, but got good nice colouring in it, so yeah. Um, around here on the floor sometimes, a lot of people don't actually look on the floor, but you can... Uh, sometimes find these decent bits with uh, small bits of compreagnosite on which uh, compreagnosite is a potassium uranium mineral potassium uranite but um this is quite fluorescent it's fairly fluorescent nothing particularly special i think you can get some more fluorescent specimens than i have got uh usually non-crystalline when you find it down here so uh, another thing you can find down here is a zippiite. You can find zippiite just around here on the banks. Again, it's not particularly common, but you you can find it. You can find it lying around and about very very occasionally. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this dump. You can find other things, other ur uranites, secondary uranium minerals such as. Uh, Johannite or whatever it is, I forgot what it is now, but uh, yeah, the matrix, um, the main matrix you want to find if you want to find a very reactive piece, um, it's generally something pretty similar to that, which is uh, something I picked up the day, there's just a load of it, it's quite weighty, it's not particularly weighty, but it's a bit of weight to it, and then there's just a little bit of secondary there. Um, and I also have another bit, I think, no, it's quartz, that's just quartz. Yeah, yeah. This is a fairly weighty bit, and, um, see all the black sort of pitch blend stuff. It's quite a nice piece. Again, a little bit of orange secondary on that, but that's about it.